What's up my fellow beasts, welcome back, finally today I'm bringing you a video about the new zombies map Rave in the Redwoods and let me tell you something right now, when I watched the trailer of this new zombies map I was like man we're gonna get some crazy shit like zombies in Spaceland, I don't wanna play this cause you had the zombies with all the weird colors and the map was full of weird colors, pretty much the rave mode thingy when you take the drugs. Uh, and I was like, no, that's not zombies to me, I don't want to play this shit. But, you know, since I bought the game with the season pass, I was like, man, let me download this shit. You know, I have it for free, I might as well give it a try. And I'm glad I did it because I cannot stop playing this shit. It is a great zombies map and I love it, unlike zombies in Spaceland. That map, the first one, is not bad. It's, you know, it's a cool map, but to me it just didn't feel like zombies. And I played it like two times and I was like, you know what, I'm done with this shit. But this one, I'm gonna play it way more because it's it looks more like the Treyarch Zombies. And, well, actually they have the harpoons which are like the bow, so probably copied like, I don't know, the Treyarch Zombies, whatever. But I'm glad they did it because this is pretty cool. So, I want to talk about 10 things I love about this map, ladies and gentlemen. I said I was going to bring you guys a live commentary and I tried making the live comms the first time I did one, which was the first time I played this map. It just, it was boring. I was like, man, no one's gonna like this shit. And, um, you know, I went in blind. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. It worked with Zombies in Spaceland. I made a live comm uh, on that map. It worked, but it just, it didn't work for this one. I tried a second time, but I was playing with some motherfuckers that probably watched like a million videos on YouTube. And they knew how to build everything. They knew all, they knew the locations of all the parts and whatever. I was just following the guys. I looked like a little, little Jimmy or whatever. And I'm a little Jimmy at Zombies in Infinite Warfare. And the video was three hours long. I was like, oh my god. There's no way I'm gonna upload a three hour long video on my channel. No one's gonna watch that shit. Especially because my channel is not really about zombies. You know, it's, just, it's not gonna happen. Even if I try to cut the video, it would be too freaking hard so i decided to bring you this video instead of 10 things i love about this map so the first thing on this list i love about rave in the redwoods ladies and gentlemen is the theme of the map it actually feels like a zombies map you're in the woods it's dark let's say it's scary it's not really scary but i think if i was a nine-year-old little jimmy i'd probably put my pants when harambe and his boys appear throwing coconuts at my face or whatever they're throwing i don't know what it is i think it's a skull maybe or a coconut, I'm not sure, usually I'm too busy running for my life. I'm just kidding, I slay these motherfuckers very, very easily, but I, I haven't noticed what they throw at you. I think it's a skull, I'm not sure though. But yeah, this map is pretty cool, uh, Zombies in Spaceland is not bad, but to me it just didn't feel like zombies. And I also love the layout of this map, you know, it's just all areas are freaking awesome. And dude, I, j I don't know, I just, I think that Infinity Ward finally did a very good job. You know, it's not that they didn't do a good job with Zombies in Spaceland, they did, but I just think that this one is fucking biblical. The second thing on this list I love about this map is that all players can get a free melee weapon when the game starts, which is pretty cool. So until round 10, everyone has a one hit kill weapon. And this is very good for noobs who kind of suck at the game, for new players, let's say, who have never played zombies before. Until round 10, they are safe. Until round 10, they are unstoppable. They just have to swing the melee weapon and, you know, hit zombies in the face. The problem is that these melee weapons occupy a spot of a gun. So if you get two guns, you will lose your melee weapon, which kind of sucks, but, I mean... After round 10, there are two hit kills, so no one uses them anymore. And the best part is that each player gets a different melee weapon. You just have to be fast and get to the melee weapon you want before another player gets there. The thing with 3 I love about this map, ladies and gentlemen, is activating the power. It is pretty simple and that's how it should always be. You just have to open a few doors, you find the switch, you hit it and bam, everything will be working. I love it. On Zetsubo no Shima, for example, activating the power was a goddamn easter egg. You had to do so many things, it was crazy and it was not fun. Getting your perks and activating the power are things that should always be simple. The thing before on this list I love about this map is the special rounds. On Zombies in Spaceland we had clowns and they were so annoying. The noise they made, oh my god, it's not that they were hard to kill or whatever. I just think they were annoying. 
So I love Harambe. These motherfuckers look like beasts. Harambe and his boys. And uh, yeah, they're harder, but I prefer these motherfuckers. Right? They are a badass and they don't make annoying noises, which is the best part. Yeah, they throw skulls at you or coconuts. I don't know what it is. Uh, usually I'm too busy running for my life. I don't look back. The thing with five on this list, ladies and gentlemen, I love about this map is the variety of traps. You have a lot of traps on this map. To be honest, only one of them is real good. Then there's another one that is okay and the rest is shit. But I just, I love the variety and the, the ideas for traps that they used on this map. So first we have the fish trap, which is awesome. It's like a big ass trap and pretty much you uh, feed the fish and when zombies go in, they, uh, the, you know, the fish piranhas, whatever you call them, they eat the zombies, which is pretty cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy that finally they're using the AI fish that everyone talked about and made fun back in Call of Duty Ghosts and now the AI fish is fucking badass because it kills zombies. Then there's also the waterfall trap, which is pretty cool. I don't really think it's that useful uh, because it's not an area where, you know, you want to stay but if you stay under the waterfall zombies will not kill you yeah they will still slap you in the face but usually they die before they can kill you uh, there is also the old school log trap which is similar to uh which is kind of like a trap from world of war which also had a log which is pretty cool but unfortunately it sucks ass in this map but you know it's pretty cheap it only costs 350 points i believe it only swings three times which is kind of a joke but if you have like a huge horde of zombies following you uh one hit of this log and they will all die so i mean i guess it is cool if you do it that way there's also the machine trap which pretty much eats all the zombies then it immediately poops them which is pretty cool again just like with the waterfall this is a trap that is located on a shitty area but I just love this thing it's pretty cool and finally we have the rave uh, trap pretty much when you activate this trap the zombies uh, start dancing and whatever then um, the uh, the sound system whatever it's called kills them which is pretty cool this is actually the best trap because the zombies are not trying to kill you it's like a monkey bomb and you can shoot them and when the trap ends all the zombies die which is fucking awesome the thing number six I love about this map is the island. It is great for rape training. It's a very open area and you, pretty much you can have two people killing zombies there with no freaking problem. Pretty much this is the place where I spend most of my time when I play rave in the redwoods. Unfortunately, you don't get a gun or at least I didn't find a gun in the island which sucks if you run out of ammo you have to go to the mainland to either go hit the box and there's no box location I believe also magic wheel whatever it's called but yeah this is my favorite place for a rape training on this map the thing number seven I want to mention is the boat ladies and gentlemen I think some people hate the boat because it's slow it takes a lot of time to take you to the island but that is exactly why I love the boat because I think it takes about 45 seconds to uh, drop you uh, on the island and that is great because you can take a break yeah, I know that you can take a break by using uh, the glitches on this map. Uh, I, yesterday I was playing and some motherfuckers were on a spot where zombies could not kill them. But eventually, those glitches will uh, get patched and um, this will be the only way to take a break you know with 45 seconds is pretty good you can go pee you can go grab something to eat or grab a drink or something and i also want to mention the zip lines because sometimes they are very useful they are like a super fast shortcut the thing about eight i like about this map ladies and gentlemen are the wonder weapons so there are the harpoons you have four harpoons and uh, they're kind of like a copy paste of the bows from uh, black ops 3 you have one one that is pretty cool then you have two that are okay and the last one is garbage and um, the other one and the other one the weapon is the chainsaw now to get this thing you gotta complete the easter egg i believe you gotta do something crazy so obviously i will never get the chainsaw but i think it's pretty cool that you get a very cool reward for completing the easter egg it gives you motivation for trying to do it the thing about nine i like about this map ladies and gentlemen is a mini game you can play 
pretty much you have a zombie on a spinning wheel and you can throw uh, knives or whatever it is and uh, every time you hit the zombie you get some quick cash this is awesome because sometimes you need you know just a few points for opening a door or for buying a new gun or for buying some ammo and by playing this little mini game you can get that quick cash unfortunately you can only do it one time per round but i think that this is pretty freaking awesome and finally ladies and gentlemen the last thing i want to mention about this map are the perks now i think that there are a few new perks on this map but the one i want to mention was already on zombies in spaceland and i'm i want to mention this perk because i've never made a video about the things i liked on zombies in spaceland and that perk is Trail Blazers. I was having a blast using this shit. So pretty much you slide, and when you slide, you leave a trail of fire behind you that burns the zombies. And pretty much what I was doing is I was rape training and sliding like in circles or whatever, and I was burning the zombies. It was super awesome. I was killing the zombies fast. I was getting points. I loved it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, 10 things I love about the new zombies map. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.